Last game at MSG. Last game of the season. Knicks looking to clinch the fourth seed in the playoffs and home court advantage in the first round. And you figured against this shorthanded, a heavily shorthanded Celtics team that this would be a walk in the park for the Knicks. But it was anything but that. The Knicks would take a 15-point lead going into the half and take a 17-point lead well into the fourth quarter. But this Celtics team led by Tremont Waters, Carson Edwards, Taco Fall, and the, and the Celtics Z League team took it to the Knicks. 19-3 run and come storming all the way back. But ultimately the Knicks would find a way to muster up some defense and, and lock this thing away, man. Cardiac Knicks on a Sunday. Not great for your health, but we got it done. 96 to 92. Knicks get the job done. And uh close the season off with 41 wins so to everybody in the chat once again hit that thumbs up button for your squad cp ashley moss in the building let me bring in ashley here real quick cardiac nicks ash cardi ac nicks <laughs> yo oh my god i don't know you you call it a trap game you 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 could call it a letdown game playing down in the competition not i don't know how do you how do you break this whole thing down um, it was a little bit of coasting that happens. Anybody who has ever played basketball knows that sometimes when you've kind of already secured your position, you subconsciously just kind of coast. Um, that's why if you see in a lot of playoff series, when a team is up, say, 3-1, that fourth game, or they're up three games to none, that fourth game usually goes to the opposing team yeah. because you're just coasting. You kind of, you're, you're already in a mindset of on to the next one. So, I mean, I, I expected this game to be um, a little a little bit of that. And also, I say all the time about the Boston Celtics, I know people think that I'm crazy, but I say all the time that this team is a wild card because you can even see, even with their practice squad, there's still a lot of yeah. talent on this team. Obviously, there's been other issues that have kind of plagued their season between injuries and COVID. They got hit bad in the beginning of the season and that kind of put a damper on things right from the start. But the team is, is, is a solid team. I think they're a well-coached team. It's just not been their years. So you can never count them out fully. Yeah. I do think the Knicks kind of were starting to realize that towards the end of the third, beginning of the fourth, and they kind of turned the jets on as they should have. Um, but yeah, this, this was, this was a little bit, (laughs) it was a little bit anxious, but we got the job done. Strange. Home court is ours. Home court is ours. At the end of the day, home court is ours. They got a lot to clean up. It was just interesting because if you just take the fan reactions in the beginning of the game, because Boston was hanging in tough. You know, fans were, were kind of panicking a little bit and, and you know, they're saying that we shouldn't overestimate this team. Then RJ starts picking it up, you know, give credit to him. Him and Noel, him and Noel had some nice sequences there to close the half. And I thought RJ really picked his game up. And with a 15-point lead, I'm like, all right, here we go. We can breathe a little bit. 17-point lead going into the fourth. I'm like, all right, things are looking good. And then these guys go on a 17-0 run, a 19-3 run. You had Burks turning the ball over, Julius turning the ball over, and Derrick Rose turning the ball over on three straight possessions. It, it was just crazy, man. But, you know, thankfully, Bullock knocked down a couple clutch buckets in the end. Uh, Noel, once again, asserting himself on the defensive end, blocking some shots, altering some shots. He's mm-hmm. very important to this team, especially going into the playoffs. And, uh, yeah, 96-92, we get the job done. So to everybody in the chat, once again, hit that thumbs up button for your squad. Next post game live presented by Manscaped. How's everybody feeling in the chat, man? Throw an emoji, throw something in the chat. Let us know how you're feeling. I, I-, I had to clean off the sweat, man, and, and calm down for a second because <laughs> yeah, I was screaming at the top of my lungs, Ash. Because you you you, you got to understand the PTSD of yeah. the of the '90s and 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 Reggie and choking and all of this. I, I caught flashbacks. I mean, I was Ash. a baby, so yeah, I, I caught flashbacks, <laughs> man. I, I really thought they was gonna choke this one, Ash. For real, yeah, this, but. this this would have been a bad one to choke. You were playing the practice squad, essentially. Yeah. You know what I mean? This yeah. should have been an easy win, but nothing's easy with the New York Six, as we know. Um, but I'm relieved. The fans are relieved. Home court advantage is huge. Yeah. Having that fourth seed, being in the actual playoffs, not the plan. You have four to five days games of rest. 
um, days of rest rather, which is going to be great for guys like Derrick Rose, Julius Randle, who have just been all systems a go since the start of the season. And, you know, for Derrick Rose, when he joined the team somewhat in the middle of the season. So it's just going to be great. It's going to be necessary for all of these guys. And, you know, this is the matchup we wanted. We get Atlanta. Yeah. You know, I know you're excited to hopefully go down to Atlanta. Oh, for yeah, we have, I think we you have. just want an excuse to go to Magic City. <laughs> That's okay. We, we, uh, yeah, that, we have. We have. And Let's get go. the, you know, get the Lou Will special at Magic City. I know you're excited get about that. Let, but that lemon pepper. Let's go. It's, it's going to be great also for the fans. You know, I think that we, you know, the media and everybody loses track of that. And this is not only a huge moment for the team, but this is a huge moment for New York Knicks fans. It's been eight long yeah. years, but not only that, to be able to have home court revenge, the fans will be able to experience this, you know, 30% capacity. The tickets are going to sell like hotcakes. You already know that, but you're going to, it's going to be an electric feeling in the city. It's going to be an electric feeling in the garden. The fans yeah. deserve this. They deserve to be part of this, especially in the beginning of the season with the pandemic, you weren't even able to be in the arena and really experience it as the Knicks were you know, first starting get first getting into the swing of things. Now it's a different time. Um, it's it's just gonna be great. I look forward to being in New York, feeling the energy. I know everybody else is, and we here, we did it. We here, we here, baby. We here, we, we here. It. And and as you say, you know, the city is charged up. The city's electric. You know, I was out there uh, earlier this week. Papa Left is out there on the streets right now. He was out there yesterday. He's out there getting footage and interviewing fans, and and just the excitement is there. The energy is back. And it, it was just a great feeling, man. It was just a great feeling to be around the fans and and seeing them happy to, to see where we are and where we came from. You know, I remember yeah. that season eight years ago. Knicks tape, even that Knicks tape season caught us by surprise. Even though Melo right. had taken us to the playoffs three straight years, that Knicks tape year, I was at that home open against Miami and we, we blew the doors off the heat. And I was like, wow, this team might really have something. Even though it's the first game, I saw something with that team. And the team would ultimately win 54 games. And even though... You know, they weren't built to last. You know, a lot of those veterans broke down. She Wallace came and left. Kurt Thomas came and left. You know, Camby wasn't as effective. Kid broke down. I still felt like, hey, we still got JR, six man of the year, Shump, Mello. We could still build on top of this. And it was the exact opposite. They came crashing back. Just missed the yeah. playoffs. The Bargnani thing was a complete disaster. And then sprinkle in a couple of, you know, 17 win seasons. The, you know, the year before we got, got Archie, we had the worst the worst record in the league, missed out on Zion, didn't get KD, Kyrie, everybody thought it was doom and gloom, and, and here we are, 41 and 31 to finish out a 72-game season, Ash. 40 wins in yeah. a 70-game season. It's impressive. Listen, what a time, right? Yeah. And I know the chat's asking about capacity, so it's going to be 30%, 30% capacity 30%. allowed in the garden. Um, unfortunately, you know, New York's not opening up until July in entirety. So because of obviously we're in May right now, the full capacity would not be allowed. So it's only 30%, but 30% is going to feel like a hundred percent in the garden. There are some other arenas like down here in Miami, the capacity is a lot larger just because Miami has been open since, you know, the beginning of last year, they just didn't follow any of the rules, but New York is different. Some other teams are also different. Their capacity on some other teams is actually a lot lower. So New York is going to be at 30%. So the good thing, though, home court advantage, you have a lot of opportunity to hopefully secure some tickets um, for yourself. Yeah. But if not, watch parties throughout the city are going to be insane. The energy in the city, in the streets is going to be insane. I know everybody wants to be in the garden. Unfortunately, our amazing season is happening in the crappiest of years yeah. or span of time. But um, don't, you know, disallow that. Don't make that yeah. um, the reason you don't True. go out and celebrate in some capacity. This True. is an amazing time. Go ahead and do that, even if you're not in the garden. And it, especially in the, in the backdrop of the pandemic, you know, just yeah. rebounding from that with the team also rebounding. You, you know, we went nine months with no basketball. The Knicks didn't make it to the bubble. Yeah. So we, we won 21 games. Fizdale was fired. The whole of last year was a disaster. Miller Miller made the most of it. You know, we, we got some good out of the Miller tenure, half half a season. But, you know, to see this team kind of climb out of that as we're kind of climbing out of the pandemic, I think that also kind of kind of boosts the spirits of the fan yeah. base. You know, it definitely has a lot to do with that. I definitely want to ask you that because I had an interesting conversation um 
I believe it was like, was it with Sports Illustrated or with SNY? It was something before we actually started filming. It was just in a meeting that I had. And it was the comparison of this bubble scenario, right? You look at what happened in the bubble and how some teams perform beyond expectations and some teams just didn't do well. But the teams that perform beyond expectations, one of the reasons that people kind of came up with all these analysts and things like that were because you didn't have the stress of fans, whether yeah. your own fans or fans of the opposing team. You look at the Knicks, you know, in the beginning of the season for a good chunk of it before fans were starting to be able to trickle in and things like that into the garden, the Knicks were just playing amongst teammates and coaches and obviously the opposing team. Yeah. Do you feel like that was kind of what this team needed, not having the pressure of the fans right in their space yeah. that kind of helped move them to where we are right now? Or do you feel like that's not a factor? Because I feel like it helped and yeah. didn't hurt. Yeah, absolutely helped. And and I went back with, with uh, Gilbert Arenas. You know, he commented on it, but he made it seem like it was all about that, that the fans weren't there. That's the only reason the Knicks were, were doing well, and I, I thought that was garbage. Um, but for Julius, you know, um, I thought that definitely helped because last year the fans were very hard on him and he struggled, and, and he realized that. He owned up to it. So I thought that did help, not having the fans there in the beginning. But if you look at the second half, when the second half kicked off, we did get that 20% in. The garden was very loud and very electric. You did hear the ref, you suck chance, and you heard everything. It wasn't a family show in the garden. You, you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but to see them persevere through the second half, um, knowing how tough the schedule was on paper, ripping off, I, I believe it was nine in a row. I, f I forgot how many they won in a row, that crazy run that they went on. Going on the West Coast and, and coming out of there even. I think it says a lot about the team. You know, yeah, I think I think it sure. says a lot about the team, the character of the team. We come out of this season with a, a top five MVP candidate, a favor for the MIP, a coach of the year candidate, a rookie of the year candidate. I mean, that's a six man of the year. You know, Rose should should, should uh, get some credit there. He might not win it. Clarkson had a better year. But, you know, to pull all, all of that out, it, that's an, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah, for sure. I think I mean. I don't know. I was reading an article the other day that said that Derek Rose should win it over Clarkson. Yeah. I mean, I think, I guess it depends on, you know, what you're, again, those awards are so subjective to me. Yeah. They're so, um, maybe sixth man of the year is not as subjective, but even that, it, it's how yeah. do you, you know, gauge who's more of a beneficial sixth man? Is it the team that, you know, should be really, really good because of right. all the talent? Or the team that has surpassed expectations because they technically shouldn't be as, it just, it's yeah. so subjective, but either way you look at it, I mean, this has been, I hate to call it a Cinderella season because a Cinderella season would like mean that you were just the bottom of the barrel. But it, this has been a pleasant surprise, even for fans. I mean, Big on surprise. the first show that I was on with you, we gave our predictions. All of us were way under. Yeah, like, way I under. I maybe had the highest because I had us at 30 games and yeah. that was me being optimistic. I had 26. So, I had 26. 100%. Yeah, I had 30. I don't I think I was the highest. I don't yeah. think anybody went above me. So this has surpassed even our expectations. And it's just it's a team that we've always deserved and it's taken us a very long time to get here. But we're here. And you, deserve you know, it, the, the Hawks, they're in trouble for sure. Yeah, we, we deserve it. So to everybody in the chat, once again, hit that thumbs up button for your squad. Definitely gonna touch on the Hawks series in a bit. We're gonna get to the phones in a bit, but first I wanna shout out the super chats that have come in as and salute to CK2K. Could have made it today, but um he'll be back with us later on and obviously as the playoffs kick off. <laughs> All right, let's get to the phones. Will from LI's up with us. Will, Will, it's been a minute, bro. Where you been, man? Hey, what's going on, man? Oh, yeah, man, I got a new job, and then the new job kind of forces me to go to sleep early like a grandma, like okay. a grandpa. But I, I've i made it a uh, philosophy to listen to the shows in the morning, and it's a great commute Thanks. to work. So I Thank catch you, every show. Never miss po On the podcast, right? On the podcast. It. Make sure it's on podcast format. Oh, Oh, of course, of course, of course, all that, all that. Yeah. Um, I iTunes, all that. No iTunes, doubt. all that. Mm -hmm. All right, man, listen, man, I am officially here to apologize mm. on the will at the beginning of the season. <laughs> this team <laughs> has proved me dead wrong. All my takes are gone. I'll throw out all the takes. The Julius take, the Obi Toppin take, you know, the, 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 um, the draft take, all of it. This team is special. I was a hundred and a million percent wrong about trying to downplay this team, not mm -hmm. trying to push 
and see exactly what we can do. I never thought that this team would have gotten the four seed. Yeah. Never in my wildest dreams. Yeah. I would have never thought it. And this team is so special. Um, just be able to walk around with my Knicks gear and everybody's, you know, pulling up comments. Oh, yeah, your Knicks are doing something. You know, I'm just like, it, it, it just feels good. And if, and if nothing else, we can definitely take this away from the season. You know, uh, but, you know, just going forward, looking into this Hawks series, I really think that Frank might be an X factor. I know you guys got to touch on that later on, yeah. but I really think with Trey Young, our guard play is going to be pivotal. So we really got to see what we can do with our defense and everything. But overall, I just want to say that I'm super proud of this team. Uh, love the work that you guys have been doing. You've been cooking. I was telling in and everything. <laughs> after I see you on SNY and – CK, Ooh. 2K, of course, you know, and everything like that. So, also, before I let you guys go, I just want to send my condolences to Alex. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw the tweet, but, yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. know, he, just like Che Boogie always said, but, you know, everybody keeps safe, you know, my condolences to Alex and everything, and you guys keep pushing it, man, and just let's let's get it, man. Play Appreciate you, man. Let's get to it. Appreciate you, Will. Thank Good to hear from All you, right, man. man. Be safe on the road, bro. All right, to the Discord we go. King Deej. What's going on, bro? CP, I hit you up last night. I said, let's talk about the four seed. You said, I already did. You said, and then I had to go check again. I was like, oh, he did. Yeah. Well, guess what? It happened in real life, baby. I'm more than hype. I'm hype. If you hype, hit that thumbs up. Drop a thumbs up in the chat. I'm trying to be on my preacher flow right now. Shout out to the OG. I mean, I hope everything's good with his family, but I'm going to just talk matchups. I'm not even talking about today. Mm -hmm. let's, run it. let's talk about the matchup right now. Who would have thought I would say, Hey, I got, I need to see Frank over Peyton, but Peyton, you could only get ten minutes in this series, bro. Yeah, yeah. Rebounding is key. <laughs> Rebounding is key in yeah. this series, and I, I I'm so upset that Mitch is not. He might be back. I hope he is, because rebounding is key to the way that the Hawks play. They get a lot of second chance points due to that man CC in the paint. We got to box out. We got to make him work for every rebound, man. Everything. Uh, as far as stopping Trey Young, hey, Trey Young's gonna get his Frank. I'm, you up, buddy? You want you want to stay here? This is the way you stay here, buddy, because yeah. your your name is definitely gonna be called Julius. I need you to be ready for these double teams, bro. Yeah. They're gonna double team you because there's nobody on that other side of the team, that Atlanta Hawks squad that could virtually guard you, bro. Yeah. There's nobody. JC can't guard you, and if Hunter and uh, Hunter and Cam Reddish is coming back, guess what? They not they not good enough. There's no way they missed the, almost the whole season. There's no right. way they could check you, RJ. Make your name, bro. You feel disrespected? This is when you make your name, bro. Because guess what? Zion's not in the playoffs yet. John Moran might make it, but I doubt he's gonna beat Steph Curry in a series. Yeah. Uh, for a game, for a game one. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm -hmm. This is how you make your name, man. Coach of the year should automatically go to Tibbs. They're probably not gonna get it because Phoenix and Utah just ran it up. Mm -hmm. I same way Ash is feeling about Clarkson. I feel the same way. I'm not gonna try to stay long. I'm trying to run through everything. I'm I'm so hype. <laughs> If you hype, all right, man. Hype talk that chat. talk. Talk that talk, bro. You good, bro? Yeah, man. We here, man. Yo, <laughs> CP, we here, bro. We missed it for the ha for almost a decade plus. Yeah. Last time we was here, I was a college freshman. I'm hyped. I'm Let's there go. for game one next weekend. The, the, I'm glad that it's next weekend because I'm glad. One thing about this playing thing, man. The best part about it is we get a whole week off. So yeah, D Rose, yeah. yeah, you you played a little sloppy today and and the other game, but I think it's more about your health, bro. You gave us your all in that Lakers game. Take this week off, get right. Julius, get right. Be mentally ready for the warfare of double teaming, bro. Get ready for that. Yeah. And co I, and I expect coach to put us in. Listen, this is a battle of coaching. No disrespect. Tibbs is a great coach, but so is Nate McMillan, man. Mm -hmm. Don't sleep on mm -hmm. Atlanta. Nate McMillan runs it up. Them sure. Indiana teams and Portland teams, they was good because of him. Yeah. So just be ready for that. I'm hyped. I told y'all already, I'm there for game one. I don't care what the price is. I'm hyped. I, my Let's whole go. check is going to that game one in the garden. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say. So, so if you with me, you with me. And whoever's not with us, then they're going to go down, man. This is year one. I'm out. Let's Peace. go. Let's go. All right, so let's get to him. The closer, ladies and gentlemen. Jay Boogie from North Carolina in the building. Jay Boogie, what's going on, bro? Salute, 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 man. Salute, salute, salute. Three capital S's, then three more capital S's. God bless everybody that's been watching and following the Knicks fan TV show. God bless everybody that's been holding on, staying loyal and legit to the New York Knicks, man. We salute you in every form and fashion it is in the way of the New York Knicks life. God bless you. God bless my man, 
CP, the young AKA Fred Wins, the young AKA <laughs> Lloyd Banks. Shout out to my homegirl, Ashley, the AKA, the young Mariah Carey, <laughs> AKA, the young Sade, AKA, the young Kim Fields. All them names I don't think they all throughout the season, man. Shout out to y'all. God bless you. Shout so out to bro. CK2K. God bless you, man. The young Jim Kelly, the young Tony Yayo. And shout out, you know what I'm saying, to Jay Ellis, the young Jim Brown. Everybody that's been a part of this situation the whole time, you know what I'm saying, we've been rocking, you know what I'm saying, believing and having the faith. Shout out to Angel, you know what I'm saying? You can wait, get you some tickets. Matter of fact, get your money together because I'm predicting the future. Get your money together for the Philly because we come in the Philly, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to talk about the game, the game today. Yeah. You know why? That's past news. That's old news, you know what I'm saying? Let the haters talk about that. Yeah. We over and done with the season. Guess what? Get your tickets. Get your seats. Get your popcorn. Get your meals. Get your jerseys. Get your all types of um, New York logos. Anything you want to rock on your boot. Get ready. First home game, you know what I'm saying? In years and years and years, we get ready to take on the Atlanta Hawks. We welcome you from A-Town all the way to New York. Big up, big up, big up, you know what I'm saying, to the home office. All of Before that, big up, big up to James Dolan. Big up, big up to Leon Rose, the Dice Man. Big up, big up to Tom Thibodeau, a.k.a. the White Shadow. Big up, big up to Julius Randle, a.k.a. the Black Messiah. Big up, big up to the nine guard, RJ, you know what I'm saying? And big up, big up to the rookies, to the veterans. Everybody that's on this New York Nick wave, everybody that's been rocking with us the whole season, here we go. We're going to the playoffs, you know. And I got us knocking Atlanta off, you know what I'm saying, handling our business, strapping up, playing D D defense all the way, locked down since account. I don't care about little meat meat, that little road runner. He come through the paint, put him down, you know what I'm saying? He don't want none of that physical content, you know what I'm saying? So I don't care nothing about him, nothing about none of the other players, you know what I'm saying? I look for us to handle our business. They don't play no D, nothing like that. They saw. I look for us to go and take over this whole series That's quick, cool. fast, in a hurry. Handle our business. You know what I'm saying? Big ups to Julius Randle getting player of the week. Big up to Julius and um, Julius Randle getting player of the month. And I know he needs to be a part of that. You know what I'm saying? That um, NBA team at the end of the year, man. I love our situation. I love what's going on. I've been calling. I've been said what was going on. And shout out to the best board man it is in the game, Super Dave. Shout he always talks to me one on one. Either he called me or I call him, man. I love that. Dude, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't never even seen him. I ain't even seen his face. I don't even know what he looked like. But I know what he talked like. I know what he sound like. You know what I'm saying? And I know his heart. Your heart is more important to me than anything it is in the world. You know what I'm saying? Just like the end of Godzilla and the King Kong. Yeah, he stepped on his chest. But at the end, guess what? He saluted King Kong for saving his life, man. So I salute real heart Damn, people. You know what I'm saying? Just to throw that little method out. Shout out to Chuck D. Shout out to Ch I'm Lloyd Banks. Shout out to all the people that's been rocking. Yo, shout out to Karen. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the podcast. Shout out to anybody who ain't never had a shout out. You know what I'm saying? We don't never forget you, man. We love, man. Appreciate, man. Let's go, man. I'm Let's hungry. Go. Let's go get this money, man. We need it, man. It's our turn, man. We got to handle our business, man. Shout out to my brother. We just finished doing a move and everything. You know what I'm saying? And on this Sunday, shout out to everybody, man. God bless you all, man. Stay healthy and safe, man. Remember my logo, man. Let's Fathers, go. love your kids. Mothers, love your kids. Husbands, love your wives. Wives, love your husband. If your boyfriend and girl, Girlfriend. Start building and elevate for the future. Put a ring on it. If you love her like that, everybody keep their household solidified, man. Protect yourself and love yourself. That thing is out here. I don't care about the vaccine. Stay healthy and stay safe, man. I love you, man. Appreciate life. And I see you game one, man. After this right here, I'm going on playoff. Take time out management. Not low because we in the building. God bless you, man. Jay Boogie. Let's go. Let's go. Throw five in the chat. The J Boogie closing the regular season on a Sunday, Ash. Go Listen, figure. And the church said, Amen. I agree with it. Also, if you like Go it, figure. you better put a ring on it. I agree. <laughs> if you like it, you better put a ring on it. Fellas in the chat. I, I, oh. That one I felt in my soul. I Five hope stars. the fellas Five are stars. listening. I hope the fellas are listening. <laughs> J Boogie on a Sunday drops a five star. Regular season closing sermon, and it's only right because Jay Boogie called in and, and said he we was going for top eight, forget the playing, and here we are, forty one and thirty one, an outstanding season across the board for everybody who's contributed to these wins, and they deserve it. 
you know, four seed in the East, they deserve it.